back to the 2021 Great Lakes Grain Crop Assessment Tour. We're here on day six down in Delhi. I'm here with Allie, Justin, Chad, and I'm Noah. And you know what, we've been out in the fields for the last week and we've seen lots of great fields, a couple bad ones, it happens. But really what we're gonna watch out for is those fields with those dead spots in them. And now today we're gonna take a different look at these fields when we're out there scouting. We're gonna go and focus more on the precision ag side of it. Allie, you wanna dive into that? Yeah, for sure. So this year what we're doing is we're adding a digital aspect to the tour. Um, every field has lots of variability within it. So we'll take in-season NDVI imagery. With that, we'll create a zone map. Um, each zone map will have three zones. You'll have your red for lowest producing zone, your yellow for average, and then green for your highest production zones. Once we take an average yield from each zone, we'll then get the weighted average and have a better representation for our yield assessment. Thanks a lot, Allie. Now I'm gonna pivot to Justin here. Justin, what advice do you have to the farmer right now with harvest right around the corner? Yeah, thanks Noah. We're excited here to get in the fields in Norfolk area. Um, weather patterns have been a bit of a struggle this year, so we're, we're really encouraging guys to keep an eye on fields, uh, part of our job as well, and uh, protect crops this year. So uh, fungicide applications, insecticide, we're starting to see western bean cutworm popping up in these fields. And also things to look for, uh, as tar spot has been one that we've been keeping an eye out for and as well as maybe some nitrogen loss because of the amount of moisture that we've received in the area. So that's a key component too. We want to make sure all nutrients are available for grain fill um, as well um, white mold and soya beans. So just a lot of things that uh, we're looking for this year on the crop tour. It's going to be interesting to see what crops are looking like um, in the area. So Thanks a lot Justin and once again once we bring these recommendations and these assessments to you us and our specialists and we will help you create a better plan for next year. Now Chad, let's take a look at the marketing side. What, what kind of pitch would you give to the farmer right now? Okay, thanks Noel. Um, I think the biggest thing on the grain marketing side is probably look doing these crop assessments tours is the size of the crop that we've got. Um, guys want to make sure they've got a um, plan in place as to where they're going to take this corn at harvest time. Um, looks like there's going to be some extra bushels for them to sell and a big crop to move right at harvest, especially on the corn. Um, also on beans, we've still got great prices, so you know, make sure you're getting those uh, those offers in and getting corn and uh, soybeans. Once again, thanks for your input, guys. Uh, I encourage you all to follow us along as we continue the crop tour all the way to September 3rd, and you can follow us using the hashtag GLG Tour 2021, and you can follow us on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and we will continue to post videos as we're assessing this crop all throughout Ontario. Yeah.